this is what I'm working on. This is the one where I'm one part short of completing it to make it run. Is that the new one or is that the old one? Huh. Well, that's not the new one. That's what I thought I had that would fit. That's the impulse line that came out of it. It's as stiff as a board and it's cracked and whatever. So it's got some generic um, of this in there. Where's the old one? I know I had it here somewhere. Every time I go up the big shed, I come back with more parts. Oh, here it is. This is the one that came out of it. Now, I do believe the reason it wouldn't run... Ah, oh, you can't see it. Where is it? Oh, yeah, right at the base here. All those splits. Why is it run and stop? Between that and the impulse not impulsing properly. The carby that probably came off of it was fine. This here inside the tank was all nice. I thought maybe I should just cut that off. Insert a little piece of rod and add to it. You know, like I could actually use. This one, this is for a 250. An MS250. I had come out and did a whole heap of other stuff for it. And the customer wanted it back before this actually turned up. And then I said, well, as soon as it turns up, bring it back and, or I'll come pick it up and I'll put it in. And they're like, oh, no, don't worry about it. I'm like, it's your money. So now I've got some spares that don't fit anything. So I changed, had a, a rim on it, a 325 rim, but I've got plenty of these spur drives. And, yeah. The rim that was on there was knackered. So, that's a nice new one. So that there is for, I actually bought that for my O2. Actually, I, I bought it for my O012. Um, but I actually bought it for the 21, which is on the floor over there. I didn't know 100% whether it would fit this chainsaw, being a 2.3, but, you know, consequently I pulled it apart, and being the same generation, yet yeah, it all fits. I'm missing the adjuster for the keyless, tallest adjuster part for the, for the wheel, the metal sprocket that's in here that's attached to the bar. So I'm going to get an MS250 side adjuster and put in there. Probably going to get four or five of them because I got this one, this one to do. I got the 021 to do, and the 170 I can put the same adjuster in. So I might just get on eBay and get some cheap knockoffs. And I hope this oil drive and everything works. The the worm drive and everything I've looked at and is all in good nick. Turns the pump. I just hope that so I don't need to buy any hoses for that and do that but next because. I've just had it half apart, and the thing was covered in oil internally. I blew most of it out with the air compressor. Oh, and the primer bowl split, but the thing is, my 2.1 doesn't have a primer bulb, and the carby that they've put on here to replace the one that they thought was dodgy, which was just a, a dodgy fuel line, doesn't have where it pulls the fuel through or into the float chamber so yeah it's not needed <laughs> so that's just there to keep the like I just put screw in there just to keep the bloody crap out the tank and I could take it right out but we'll just leave it there for now and that's your one way breather which is a bit restricted but I suppose it'll work um there are nicer breathers you can buy, but yeah. So I'm hoping to get this going at some point. I have sort of had it running. Oh, sort of. <laughs> and the engine actually sounds all right. And looking in all the ports, when I had, like, looking through the back here and, and looking at the top of the piston, there's no holes and whatever, obviously, because I've had it sort of running and the piston on this side looks clean like it's not scored or anything so yeah 
I wonder whether those dogs would fit my 170. You can buy them off of eBay anyway. But I've got to go past the steel shop in the next couple of days, so I might just see what they got in stock or what they got on a broken saw. Chain brake all works. So I paid $30 for this thing. And yeah, I think I'll get it running. I'm quietly optimistic. Although, I might pull all this back apart, do a how-to video, and give it a clean up. You hear that knocking sound? That's the rod for the um, oil drive just rattling in the little catch at the back there. If it rattles, like that, you generally got it in there. I line them up anyway. So yeah, it'll be a good little saw I think once it's done. I might actually splurge if I've got enough money by the time uh, I do get it running. Um, sometimes like anyone else, I'm broke and sometimes I got a few hundred dollars to spare. I might put a 20 inch bar on this one, I think. We'll see. Anyhow, the cat's getting into something it shouldn't be, so I'm going to go and see what it's chewing at. <laughs>